the images of nanoparticles right so as we can see here that uh, these are nanoparticles uh, this big one you cannot call nanoparticles or because it is not in nano scale as i explained that one dimension of a simple at least need to have in this range 100 to 1 to 100 nanometer then you can call that nanomaterial but however there are other some hollow nanoparticles so you can see here these smalls so these are nano or in nano scale because the scale the bar is in micron here this bar is in micron so these small small particles come in uh, in nano scale right so now we are going to explain the tem analysis of these nanoparticles right so transmission electron microscope basically we need very thin uh, sample right transmission electron microscope give information about the topographical how the structure looks like whether it is a particle or rods or fibers and also it gives us information about the compositional analysis this is very advanced technique and uh, the elemental mapping uh, i will not cover in this video morphological mean how it particles or grain or crystallites look like and finally the crystalline nature uh, of a material uh, we get side pattern diffraction pattern and lattice planes uh, what is the distance between the two planes we will explain also this in this video now let's see now we will now focus one nanoparticles here and we will zoom it you will see here right this is now the nano sem images this is now the sem image of nanoparticles right you see still in micron here now you see here these 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 are the small particles here here is also it is, it is in 100 nanometer range so these small particles now are focused here these small particles you see here now i will zoom here and you will see here uh, uh, the, the you see this is now that particle now is getting bigger because we zoom it you see here now a 20 nanometer here there is that big particle we further zoom here now you can see that the grains now getting visible here you see here as i explained yesterday that the crystallite the crystallite mean basically a single crystal so crystallite is the smallest then we have grain and then we have particles right so here the grain now getting visible here you see this is one grain here see here there is another grain here let's see further it further uh, getting visible here so some grain are small some grains are bigger right you see here we further zoom it now we are getting the lattice planes here now each grain have their own lattice planes and they are oriented in a particular direction here you see here these are lattice planes here so where electrons are residing here so this grain have this particular direction if you look in this big plane this big grain so you have the uh, plane something like this and further zoom it here you see here this is also big grain here so the planes are something like this and if you look into the others so the, the here the, you see the planes are like this so this also shows that this material is uh, polycrystalline in nature because look here the grains uh, the grains are look like here that uh, these are uh, oriented in uh, different directions here you see look this one here look this one here so the planes are uh, like vertical here look this one here you see here and look these here and look this here and look this so these are uh, the grains have the planes and they are oriented in a particular directions and this is why it's polycrystalline in nature this image is very very clear here you see here over oh, this grain here oh, very nice planes similarly here and here so it can 
you see here these are the the concentric circles so this means that the material is polycrystalline in nature right so this was how uh, uh, you to know about the uh, tm analysis of nanoparticles and what information we collect from uh, 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 tm of a nanostructure material